Hello, this is Andrew Ochoa, and today we're going to talk about which is better, the Gamma Trilogy or GMK. Um, my honest opinion, uh, it's really kind of hard to choose between these films, like, which is better, because you're judging four films, and if you're wondering, why am I doing this for God's other month, when Gamma is in it, well, Jujutsu Kikiano directed GMK, so, eh. So technically counts, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, dude, it's eventually we're gonna get a gut solve of this gamma film someday. Probably never. But here we go. I think the gamma trilogy is a sentiment of time. And it's one of the best trilogies out there. But GMK is pretty decent. But if I had to choose which one of these films are better, uh, that's going to be hard. I would say the Gamma trilogy, but then again, I would say GMK. Hmm. Which one of these films are better? In my opinion, uh... Let's look by each one of them. Gamma 1 starts with pretty good opening. About Gamma coming in a ship, Gamma for New Origin being built by Atlantis, and you see him throughout the entire trilogy of the Gamma trilogy. Him fight. And if I had to be honest, I God in the universe is probably the weakest out of the Gamma trilogy, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying it's pretty much the weakest. I still say it's good, it's probably the weakest out of the trilogy. It's still pretty good, though. But then we go to Gamma 2, which is the best, best alien invasion story ever. Now that's how you do an alien invasion. Jesus, and how he got his name, we are Legion. It looks so like how most of these kaijus get the name. Like, Gaios was, well, I like how the next two kaijus actually got the name. Like, Gaios, yeah, giant bird created by Atlantis. It doesn't really give you an explanation how he got his name. Legion got his name from the freaking Bible, <laughs> which is pretty terrifying. And Iris got her name, or his name, from a cat. Yeah, but it also relates to the character who used had a pet cat who got killed in Gamma, and one of Gamma's rampages, or the attack guarding the universe, where Gaius basically destroyed that building. I'm guessing Gamma knocked Gaius into a building. I'm guessing that's what happened. This film is excellent. I think all these films are very good, but let's go to GMK. Is GMK any good? Mm. Yeah, it is. You get the best evil Godzilla ever. The, the absolute best incarnation of the character we've ever seen. Like, there's no top in this guy. This guy's OP. I won't say he's my favorite Godzilla, but he is the best evil Godzilla. Like, he goes on rampages, and you just see the city destruction scenes. You know, you usually just see, like, buildings trampling, but you don't see most of the casualties. Casualties. Well, in this movie, you do. Even in the fights, you see the casualties. Like, army shutters, the fights with the military, and the fights with Godzilla. You see people getting killed. You, get, you see soldiers getting blown by the time of breath. Even Godzilla vs. Mothra's fight, you see Godzilla kill people in a building. But Mothra just shoots by them. Godzilla shoots them down with time of breath. And in Godzilla vs. Bergon, you see all those people getting killed. My bad. Getting killed during the fight. And even Godzilla's rampages, you see. Him get killed, and even the story 
the cat is in this movie are pretty decent. But what about the gamut? Well, yeah, they're pretty good. If I have to choose which one's the best, uh, this is going to be a hot topic, but Jim Game. Okay, hear me out. I know people say that Gamma 3 and Advanced Legion are the best kaiju films out there. In my opinion, I think what's just you know about Two Gods Law made those Gamma made those two Gamma films look nothing in comparison to GMK. And to be honest, GMK is I can watch a film any. I've watched that film so many times, and don't get me wrong, I've watched the Gamma Trilogy so many times too, but Jim Carrey, I've watched way more. And it's such a classic, and I can remember every line in the movie. And I think the characters and the lines, like, if, if only the song, if only the songs, can, uh, what's the fucking line? I think it's if only the songs, if only the souls can be the stories they would tell. I think that's the line. I forgot the name of the line. But anyway, I think Jim K is probably the better of the films. But I'm not saying Gamma Trilogy is bad. I'm just saying which is better. I still give these films a really good. Like, mm, I, I probably still give like Gamma Trilogy 10 out of 10. And Jim K ten out of ten, as well. But not thinking about it, yeah, Jim K is probably the best. So, in order to sign off, and remember, stay bitchy, fans.